Hey everyone, today we're back with another video talking about the crypto markets. A very, very nice surge coming along. We have Bitcoin above 38K, Ethereum above 2.7, almost a 2.8K. We have a lot of great recovery across the board. Binance BNB almost a 20% increase. Doge going up 30%, Polkadot up 15%. Uh, Solana up 10%. We have a lot of coins doing very, very well. Monero up 12.75%. Just like I said, this was going to take place after a massive dip that we had or massive crash we had recently. I do think we are going to continue to trend sideways and with a small uptrend for the next couple of months. But realistically, we had to have some kind of surge here coming soon. With a great amount of good, really good information, bullish news coming out, I do want to cover some of this bullish news, and then we're going to jump into some of the coins and where we think some of these coins are going to go in the next upcoming months. So jumping into the first one, this is very, very big for us. So bull moon rising as whales by billions in crypto. So here you can see it. We have billions of crypto being bought up by big, big whales. We're not going to read too much into this, but just know that some of these whales that you know sold at the very, very top are now buying back in in the past couple of days, and they understand that we are on our way back up, and a lot of people are very, very excited. So at the time of the writing, Bitcoin is trading at 37,000, giving the whales huge purchase uh, you know, a value of 2.85 billion. So obviously this guy thinks something or this guy or girl or whatever is thinking, you know, something is going back up. They think it's going back up. Um, and you know, that's what a lot of whales are starting to really show. They're starting to understand that, you know, we are at a great buying spot. We sold at the top. Let's get in before it continues to climb. And I think a lot of people are going to start getting in on just, you know, fear of missing out alone. So FOMO is going to take over. I think a lot of this recent USDT that is $61.8 billion sitting in market cap still is going to be used up here in the next couple of hours. Uh, just a couple, you know, millions of it at the very least going to be thrown into some of these coins because a lot of people do not want to miss on this climb. They understand that Bitcoin could easily be back to $60,000 within a couple of weeks. It's all it takes in crypto. It's a very volatile market. You could really miss out just in a couple of hours uh, of a great buy-in point or even a great all-time high. So we'll continue on and jump through the next one. So Coinbase's stock rises as crypto platform says U.S. customers can use debit card in Apple and Google wallets. So this is great to see as well. Uh, you know, just more and more things that are going right for crypto right now. We have a great huge conference coming up. Uh, you know, one of the biggest crypto conferences ever down in Miami coming up. I think it's June 3rd, if I remember correctly. Uh, but just big things, like I said, coming across the board. And that's exactly what crypto needed to get out of this spot. We are going to have a test. A lot of people have been talking about this test at 42,000 Bitcoin. So we'll see if we can make it past there. Bitcoin's up 5%. So I wouldn't be surprised if we struggle around 37 to 38 for a little bit. But if we can get above 30, uh, Sorry, 42 to 45K, that's going to be really our resistance. If we can get above 42 or 45K, uh, you know, realistically, we should be seeing all time highs very soon after. Jumping back, though, I do want to take a look at a few more articles. Uh, so, actually, Coinbase rival Kraken launches mobile app in US to capitalize on crypto surge. So, Kraken will launch, or sorry, which launched in 2013, is bringing its mobile app to the US. This is big news. Obviously, having some competitors or competition in the US is definitely a good thing for crypto uh, enthusiasts. I mean, having Having options, having different, uh, you know, apps that definitely, uh, you know, help the mainstream user is going to be good for anyone. So jumping into the next one, we see 5 million ETH is now locked up in the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract. This is months after the beacon chain for Ethereum 2.0 was launched. Over 5 million ETH now locked on the protocol. That is huge. That's obviously going to help, you know, stabilize Ethereum a little bit more. Uh, you know, more and more Ethereum is going to continue to be put in. And that's obviously going to come with time. Jumping into another thing, we talk about the borderless to launch 25 million Miami blockchain fund with Algorand Circle. So this is huge. Borderless Capital is to launch a $25 million fund for blockchain investment in Miami, harnessing Algorand, the technology of stablecoin USDC operator Circle. So we'll see what really takes place with this. Like I said, a lot of a bullish, bullish news today, not bearish. We talked about the bearish news the last couple of weeks. It's great to be on the side of bullish yet again. We'll continue to see what does take place in the next couple of weeks, and obviously keep you guys up to date with altcoin price predictions as well as you know just news in general so make sure to subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video to stay up to date jumping into the next one we see Chainlink has the potential to disrupt traditional finance link is a fast mover but a moderate position could advance along with the technology so there are plenty of cryptocurrencies to, uh, for traders to choose from however one that's relatively unknown to some investors is Chainlink and I agree with this a lot of people for some reason don't understand what Chainlink does I would suggest everybody here to take Take a look at what Chainlink does and why it's so important to this industry. Uh, you know, it's one thing to, you know, 
understand it and just not choose it, that's perfectly fine. If you don't understand it, then you should definitely look into it. Do your own research. Always find out your own research because I'm not a financial advisor. I'll never give financial advice. Chainlink is probably one of the largest uh, coins in my portfolio. I think it's going to be massive. I could see it uh, making big, big gains. Uh, we, we talked about an article the other day that talked about Chainlink getting to $81,000 at some point. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, you know, that's just pure speculation. You know, $81,000 is quite a jump from, uh, you know, the price point of $31 right now. But, you know, it's great to see a lot of people talking about Chainlink. And I just wanted to mention that quick. So I am a believer in crypto, Tom Brady says in a recent interview. So Tom Brady is in it for a long time. So Tom Brady, first laser eyes and then you're buying the dip. I'm talking at Consensus 2021 Thursday night. Let's see what else was said here. Uh, if you want to join me. So this is great, obviously seeing, um, you know, two big time people talking about crypto and uh, Tom Brady just talking about how they're buying. He's buying the dip yet again. Uh, jumping into the next one, we see even Vitalik Buterin is surprised at just how long ETH2 is taking. So this may not be bullish news, but I thought it was interesting. So he actually thought, you know, it would be a little bit shorter of a process. He thought it would be faster. And that's exactly what you want to hear. He's expecting, you know, a little bit more out of his team than what he got or a little bit, uh, I guess, less hard, uh, you know, obstacles in the way. And it's great to see that, you know, he's still trying to push through that. Next we have, you know, we did talk about this 5 million ETH locked up, so we're not going to talk too much more about that, but I want to jump back to those prices because it's nothing more fun to a lot of us to look at these prices of, uh, you know, 7% increase in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin rising substantially, Ethereum rising substantially, Binance BNB rising substantially, great, great numbers across the board, Cardano, a long-term project doing very, very well, you know, Chainlink, a long-term project doing very, very well, Polygon up, up a percent, it was down, you know, pretty much all day until recently, uh, you know, a lot of these coins still Stellar Lumens was down about 5% uh, just recently and, you know, surges across the board. And that's exactly what we want to see. So if we look at the last 24 hours, you can see, you know, we went from 41 cents on Stellar Lumens all the way up to 43.50 very, very quickly. Uh, we'll see if this kind of levels out now or if we continue on this increase. But for the most part, you know, this is a good increase. There's never a problem with increases. For the most part, you're seeing, you know, substantial increases across the board. And that's exactly what you want to see. So like I said, the first article of the day was probably most important to understand that, you know, bull uh, you know, bull people, I guess I'm trying to think of the right wording here for you guys. Uh, you know, holders, big time holders of Bitcoin and, uh, you know, other coins are starting to buy up again. They may have sold at the top because they know something we don't. Obviously, the manipulation and FUD was definitely executed by a bunch of, uh, you know, bulls across the market. And we're starting to see all of these guys, you know, buy back up. Uh, and why would that be unless uh, they expect crypto to start surging soon. So it's crazy to me that we still have, you know, this much money sucked into USDT. I do think, like I said, a lot of people are going to start FOMOing in, which I don't want to see happen because honestly, when you have FOMOing people in, uh, you know, a lot of these people are buying in price points that they aren't comfortable with. And that's exactly what you don't do because there are usually dips amongst the, uh, obviously, the uptrend altogether. You are going to have some pullbacks. You're going to have some resistance. Uh, and that's where you want to buy. Uh, so hopefully you guys aren't FOMOing in if you guys are holding a lot in USDT. But do remember, guys, you had a couple warnings that things are going to start looking good again. Uh, we talked about a lot of good things. Uh, as long as there's no, like I said, FUD or manipulation in the upcoming days, I do expect Bitcoin to rise above 40000 as well as much, much more. Uh, you know, we talked about the conference coming up, and that's going to be huge for Bitcoin as well as crypto in general. Uh, jumping through a couple different things, I want to say, you know, by the end of June, I do expect we continue to have this uptrend. Uh, I do think it'll slow down a little bit. It won't be, a you know, a 7% increase across the board all month. Obviously, that would be insane. Uh, you know, for the most part, though, we are going to have some pullbacks. We're going to have some slow trending up uh, uptrends for the most part. And I think, you know, realistically, we're going to see a lot of coins easily do an 8% increase uh, across the board uh, for the next couple of weeks. And I think, you know, it's going to continue up and up. I think 8% every week, easily making our way closer and closer to realistically a 32% increase in the month of June. So we'll see if that does take place. Obviously, uh, you know, that doesn't follow along. It doesn't really follow along, I guess, with, you know, some of my altcoin predictions. So I will you know, take that information, you know, lightly there, but realistically, you know, looking at some of these different articles, different uh, information, I do think we are going to see a little bit more than uh, my conservative price predictions usually say. So do remember guys, I always try to keep very, very conservative price predictions. That 32% increase in the next month is not a conservative price prediction. So we'll continue to keep you guys up to date with this information, this crypto information, obviously a lot of good news coming out today with a great market increase in recovery. So if you guys want to learn more about crypto or you want to learn more about altcoins or predictions in general, make sure to quick 
quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I really do appreciate all you guys coming in. Make sure to jump into the description of the video, follow me on Twitter, um, and as well, join the Discord in the link uh, also in the description below. So I do have referral links down in the description below as well if you want to take advantage of that. Thank you guys so much again for supporting me as we get closer and closer to 100K subscribers. I will see you guys all in the next video.